If you're parked illegally, you better not have one of these scan cars drive by, because that would get you a fine. They've been on patrol here in Brussels since 2018, and authorities have benefited handsomely, as parking fines have nearly tripled. But they say it's not about the money, but that clamping down on illegal parking encourages people to cycle or use public transport and improves city mobility. We know that the more we will control, the more the people will respect the rules and pay uh, at the park meter. So we will get less money and uh, we're, we're OK with that because it's not the first objective. Now, the city of Hamburg wants to bring in scan cars, but the German federal government has paused the plan under pressure from privacy activists who worry they'll be used to monitor citizens. A scan car can control 6,000 parked cars per hour, taking six photos of every car. An officer on foot can only check 800 cars per day. In this case, the technology is actually increasing the number of staff employed here. In the beginning, there were people uh, who were afraid that it would low the number of people necessary so there would be less jobs. And in fact, no, they are working differently, but we need a lot of people uh, to answer the, the, the clients. That includes people at headquarters, where every fine from the scan car is checked and approved by a human. With scan cars already being used in Paris, Amsterdam, Warsaw, London and other European cities, Germany may be one of the last countries in Europe to bring them in.